Well, she's here showing us how to ride in style and That's store right. our stuff in style with DIY bike saddle bags. The stylish person I know is Orly. So, Thank you. Uh, by default, by only, by only by default. <laughs> That's it. You're dead to me. Uh, there it is. Look how cute that looks. Oh, I it's love it. absolutely adorable. It makes for not only, I mean, a, such a functional solution when you're going on bike rides, going on a picnic. I ride my bike with the kids all the time, and it's fun to be able to put a couple of those things that you need sure. and not be burdened by them. But also, it makes for a really cute picture. Little, little photo up. <laughs> little photo up. Can't well, help myself. Speaking of <laughs> picturesque, you and your husband rode uh, bikes, right? Saw oh, some amazing gosh. castles yes. on your track. What was that? Oh, my God. Amazing. It was incredible. My husband and I, um, a few so we biked across the Loire Valley in France for 10 days. Oh. And it was just the two of us, and we biked from town to town. Oh, and then that. we would every day we would stop at different castles. That was us biking underground. We, I mean, in what? caves, wine caves, where they were actually making. And look at it. the fabulous bags on the side of your bike. And these were like vintage, my inspiration. Yes, these were vintage bikes that they had specifically there. We were at, these were not the bikes we these we actually those rode like, real bikes yeah. across France. But it, it was wow. so cold. It was raining look at like those crazy. It was incredible. We saw so many cool castles, including one of the Sleeping Beauty castles because. There's two sleeping beauty castles. There are. By the way, there's one in France and one in Germany. But well, um, she was tired. My jealousy is an overdrive. <laughs> yes. It's very frustrating to me, your story. So, other than Incredible. a sleeping beauty and a few castles, what right. else do we need? You're going to need your bike and you're going to need a bag. I recommend using a straw bag if you can get it, just because the way that it's woven, it makes it so easy for us because we can open up all these little holes oh, to get yes. into the bag wherever we need it. Mm -hmm. So, it requires a lot less labor and cutting and all it's that kind of stuff. Lighter, too, isn't it? Very yeah. light, yep. And it looks super cute. And if you go to the beach, Sam won't get stuck in there. Yeah, exactly. Actually, that's a very good point. And then these are like canopy bungee cords. We're going to need okay. those. Paint is totally optional. Um, if you want to decorate it, I thought it looked super cute, but that's totally yeah. optional. And then lastly, you want some kind of pretty attractive looking like cording because that's how we're going to tie it on. So you just want something okay. that's going to look cute. So I thought a little bit of like suede mm -hmm. ribbon is a, is a good so solution. So how do we start? Okay, so the first thing you want to do is kind of disassemble your bag. I've already taken off this handle on the other side, but again, because it is straw, it all comes apart really easily because these things are just sort of tacked into there mm. really lightly and we don't end up cutting through any seams and leaving any ugly holes in our bag. So it's another reason why this is a really great kind of bag to use. Do you dispose of the handle then or do you repurpose Yep, no, we're it? not gonna no, need it. We are okay. gonna save one of the handles, but this is not one of them that we're okay. saving. You're like me, I like to save everything because you never know what you're gonna know. need I'm it looking for oh, yeah. like, that, that could be a nice trim And on this show. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So now okay. this one here, we're gonna remove the crossbody strap and we actually are going to reuse it because we're gonna need it, but we just don't need it going this particular direction. Sure. So here I'm gonna okay. undo it. And while it's off, I'm going to go ahead and paint. I will put this back on okay. after that. So anytime you're painting something that's woven, it goes around in these concentric, concentric circles, which, mean, which means that here, if you follow this line, you're eventually going to go higher and higher and higher. Wow, I just so, learned something. Concentric? Concentric. Yeah, going I didn't know that. yeah, yeah. I didn't know so that. when you're doing something no. like this where you're painting in stripes like I've yeah. done on the other bag, you want to make sure that you go off to your edge here so that we'll see it from the backside. I would paint this entire one going all the way across and come again cheating around. Now when you look, you'll see, I'll give it a little extra so you can see it more clearly. So you're not following it, otherwise no. you would go up. No, I'll be one yeah, off, off if I go all the way. Oh. So cheat and now eyeball and kind of split the difference on your backside. This is gonna be hidden on our bike so it doesn't matter, mm -hmm. but you wanna make sure that you give yourself that, otherwise you get to the end, you're like, oh no, and you yeah. have this like weird step. So that's if you're gonna be painting it. Now, the next thing I wanna do is attach these straps back on. So because this is one of those easy button ones and because this is a straw bag, I'm able to peek my finger right through here, slide this in, and close it back up. So now, I basically just relocated my strap. I'm gonna oh. do the same thing on this side, and then I'm gonna cut off my excess because I don't need nearly as much. And these are gonna be the straps that are gonna hold it closed so that when we're actually riding the bike, nothing comes bouncing off. Mm. Right. Get that in there. Yeah. Okay. You hate that. You exactly. Hate that. Yeah, your teeth. Fiona, would you cut like on an angle ah, right through right there? Right there? Yep. Just real nice and oh, pressure. hard. Go, yep. You got it, you I got, got, I got, you got this. You, go. you got it, watch your finger, perfect. So now this is how we would tie it closed. Now the next thing we wanna do is take our little strap that we have here and on the top, we would push this through because this is actually how it's gonna tie onto the bag. You go through the top and through the bottom and I have one done that I'm gonna swap out right now so you can really see the way that it looks. But I just want you to see how easy it is to get it through. So see, just like that. So now let's take this little guy, which is fully done. You tie two little knots in it, 
And the last thing you do is you throw the bungee cord through the bottom of the bag. You want to put it kind of close to the edge, not through the center, and I'll explain why. But when you put it through, this gets stuck in the inside, so the knob prevents it from pulling through the bag. Mm -hmm. And now we have a bungee, and you're going to be using... Oh, did I lose my little S-hook? S-hook. Oh, there it is. Found it. This little guy right here. So this is an S hook, and this is gonna allow us to take the bungee on and off the bag so that when we get to our destination, this bag can just come right off. So here, I'm gonna take these little ties, uh -huh. and I'm just gonna tie it right on in a little bow. This attaches the top. So here, it makes for a super cute little detail. I've got that little bow. I was gonna, it's always good when you have like somebody do it. Yeah, like actually Mark, would you just tie that for me? <laughs> sure. And that while he's tying that, I'll show you the bottom. So most of our bikes are gonna have this, this uh, hardware down on the bottom. You wanna make sure that you've got a little hole and you're just gonna slide the S hook through. Now does this work on any kind of bike or is this just for cruisers? I was just gonna ask that. You know yeah. what, that's actually a great question. The reason the cruiser is great is because it has this rack on the back for you to tie it onto. Mm -hmm. okay. But if you don't have a cruiser, if you guys can just show that little oh, rack right sure. there, those things are available to purchase, so you can yeah. you can add one to your bike. Yeah. You just need something oh, just, like that to attach this to. This where your your bike, yeah, yeah. your it's, seat it's, post exactly, goes through. and then that will hang off the back. How so nice. the very last thing that you do is you take that bungee cord and you hook it right down into the S hook. This is going to do. Two things. One, it's just going to keep it nice and sturdy, but it's going to prevent this bag from flapping around when we ride. And then when we get to our, our location, all we do is unhook it from the S-hook, untie it, and we have our bags to go take with us wherever we want.